Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series Retro Deluxe, the Uncanny X-Men Marvel's Apocalypse. This is a deluxe uh, figure. This is the first of the X-Men card figures to be on that oversized card. We have two Spider-Man, we have Rhino and Kingpin. We have two of the Marvel Universe with the SDCC Hulk and the Grey Hulk figures. So now the X-Men gets the deluxe oversized card treatment with Apocalypse. But it's only one. I feel like we'll have to get another one to balance it all out because like OCD is gonna drive me crazy that two Marvel Universe two spider-man one X-Men it's like ah you can't balance that out anyway um, here we have this figure it looks really awesome beware of some QC th issues because there's one thing on mine where you know they like, try to paint correct it and it looks like shit so I'm gonna show you guys that um, as as I take the figure out and we get a closer look but the card is awesome it is the purple color for the villain card which is great it says ancient evil there he comes with actually a lot of accessories we have a blast effect there we have those um, those hoses there and we have an arm cannon interchangeable hands and a second head so a lot of really cool things with this which is pretty awesome looking at the back of the package we get that 3d render of the figure there um, and then the bio reads look upon the future and tremble he is apocalypse the world's most powerful mutant and from the ashes of our world he will build a better one uh, so pretty cool this one is like in the animated series colors I know a lot of people are saying that you know why is it on the card if it's comic figure why do they put the colors why isn't it cell shaded in the X Men um, animated series boxes. Um, I'd rather it come this way than that. I mean, it wouldn't fit into the box even if they tried to do, you know, like a double size. Um, if they if they did like a double sized one, I, it wouldn't even fit like height wise to fit in there. So they wouldn't be able to do the, like the wide one, like you know the Mister Sinister, how it has the wide box. You know, I don't think it would even fit in there, so they're not going to create a new box for that. It'll throw off the VHS aesthetic, too, I think. I think that's why they opted with the retro card. But I love it, so let's go ahead and rip this thing out of the card, and let's take a look. Okay, and here is the Apocalypse figure out of the package, and yeah, he is stacked with accessories, which is really, really cool. Um, so I love the way it looks. I love the little blast effects, and I didn't realize this. It has the two small blast effects for these two smaller barrels here on this arm cannon, um, which is actually really cool. Um, there is a lot more new to this figure than I in had initially thought, which is... Um, kind of crazy like I thought it was gonna be almost all reuse and everything very little new stuff you know I knew we would have the new head sculpt um, and the arm cannon but the forearm guards the gauntlet pieces are new his torso I believe is new and then this collar piece is new and then these shoulder pads are new. like it's a lot more new than I thought it's not just a, a straight repaint I mean it kind of is but kind of not there I mean there's a lot more new to it so um, I was actually really really shocked by it so let's get in for a closer look before we get a chance to look at the articulation and those comparisons with the two previous released apocalypse figures Okay, so we'll in for the close look at Apocalypse and look at that head sculpt. This is the new one. This one's just kind of the straight face and it's crazy looking. Look at the face print on there. I like that they added shading kind of in his facial features to bring out um, kind of that menacing look and those wrinkles in his forehead and stuff. He's got red eyes with like a little bit of green pupils um, in there and that just looks really good. The light kind of shines off of it a little bit but I really like the way that looks there. But again, we get two heads, so we're gonna pop this one off. We've seen this one before. This one is actually just a repaint of the one from the Build-A-Figure. As we take a look here, it is the same head sculpt, but painted differently, but they are, wait, are they the same head sculpt? Ooh. Now I'm questioning whether they are the same head sculpt. But he, anyway, here it is, well, and then I'm going to take a closer look at it. But yeah, this one, the menacing with the gritty teeth, um, looks pretty good. But man, I'm going to have to take a closer look at these two head sculpts and double check to make sure they are the same or if they are, in fact, different. It's kind of crazy the difference in color and paint a head looks. This one definitely looks a lot more wider to me, but I think at the end of the day, they are the same head sculpt but it's just so hard to tell the way this face part it's like there's a couple of separate pieces like this face part is a separate piece that's glued on and it wasn't glued on real well whereas this new one it looks to be on there a lot better see it looks like 
God, it's hard to tell with the paint. This portion looks a little bit wider or longer than this one, but I think that's in the paint variation. Looking at the bottom, they have different numbers inscribed in there, and that could be a sign that they're different. Yeah, see, this one definitely looks a lot wider, but then when I look at the facial features of each head sculpt, and there's so many things that are actually the same, so it's got it's it can it's kind of up in the air on if if they yeah see this the old one the build a figure one definitely looks a lot wider so I think this one might actually be a new head sculpt but the wrinkles and things in the like the nose the nostril size all looks to be the same so it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy I mean I guess these look a little bit more pointed the blue there versus here but again that could be just in how these two parts were kind of glued on. Ah, it's just kind of it's it's wild, but I'm gonna go with newer ish um, But I like the way this one looks a lot more this one, you know being wide, you know, it fits it fits the aesthetic of the old builder figure but I think I, I think it is I Think it might be a little different. So that's 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 pretty wild. So I'm gonna leave the new heads the new one that I know for sure is all new I'm gonna leave that one on there. Um, we'll take a look at the figure So that QC issue that I was talking about where they did kind of that paint correction thing to touch up um, So they got this blue paint right there on the a and that this looks absolutely terrible Like I hate the way it looks I've seen this done on a couple of different figures because they they never get the full match Right, you know if they're just trying to fix a little blemish or something and then from far away You know it doesn't look so bad, but then when you really look at it, it's like what the hell happened there like that's like that's unacceptable Why would they do that like if, if there was a paint? Paint and blemish like start all over not 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 this because this this looks bad in my opinion um, But there we go. So looking at the collar piece again the collar piece is new as you can see It's got this flat like vent there the old one didn't have it. It wasn't kind of that rec more rectangle trapezoid uh, Look to it and then the age of apocalypse one was just this big-ass red collar um, as you can see there. So um, yeah, that is all new. Those shoulder pads are new. The torso is new too, because whereas this guy, the Age of Apocalypse, and the Build-A-Figure, it just kind of had a regular torso to him, whereas this one, we actually have this sculpted piece. So this blue over the purple, that's sculpted and raised on there. So that is a new torso piece. So the entire upper torso is new. I'm actually looking at the belt. The belt is actually new too. At first I thought it was the same as the Builder figure but look at the Builder figure one. There's a lot more detail into that belt. So it is the same belt, but the legs are the same as the Builder figure So the legs on down, the hip piece is probably the same too. Um, or it's gonna be all, um, all the same. And then the arms are the same, but the gauntlets are different. But the gauntlets were removable, so that wasn't an issue. Like, I had to take the one off the right arm to put the arm cannon on there. So, yeah, a lot more new. So, new torso, new shoulder pads, new belt, um, and new new collar and new head sculpts. The hoses are actually new as well, these tentacle hoses, because they are not the same as the Build-A-Figure one. Um, and I think I kind of like these ones. These ones are a lot more soft and pliable, and kind um, in my opinion, these ones didn't... Well, actually, you know what? The old ones did have a little bit of give to them, but I, I don't know. I kind of like the way these ones look. It's kind of nice and soft, um, and then the way they pour it on there kind of works out really well. Um, but looking at the arm cannon now, the arm cannon is really cool. We get some nice purple and yellow on the black plastic there, and actually one of those hoses will plug right into it. Um, but the blast effects are a, definitely a nice touch on there because you can have the large barrel so you can port it in whichever spot you want. But if it's down here on this bottom one, it's kind of difficult when you have the other blast effects on the smaller barrels, because then the bigger one just really gets in the way. So that's why I went with the top one. That's pretty cool. Now these ones, um, they go in the peg holes just fine. The peg holes are quite small, so you kind of have to work it in a little bit like I had to on this one. At first it didn't want to port in, but then when you get it, you know, that looks pretty good. We'll remove those. And that's not bad there. Too bad these things weren't bendy wire. That would be really nice. And they just plug in onto the back of Apocalypse like so. Yeah. And there's Apocalypse. That's pretty good. Let's see the side by side of all three. Okay, so here we have the three Apocalypse figures. This new one is actually a little bit taller than the Build-A-Figure. And it seems, well, I guess I kind of have them 
torso, that cape kind of gets in the way. He's definitely taller than the Age of Apocalypse one. Um, and I really like all three. This one is going to go really well with the X-Men animated series, the cell shaded figures. I will show you guys that here shortly. I have all of them now, every figure that has been released, because I do have the Mystique figure from D23 and Morph I just received today. So we'll take a look at all those um, with Apocalypse. I think that's going to be awesome. I still love the way the Build-A-Figure looks, the aesthetic of the Build-A-Figure, very classic looking um, with the blue and the black. Um, one other thing is this one actually has like these ankle like pieces on the boots that this guy does not have so that is something that is a little bit different that you know one one thing that's not included with this one that this one had not you know that big deal i guess but yeah lo again lots of new pieces as you could see between the three they're all very different apocalypse figures and usually you know with deluxe figures we saw a lot of repaints because you know hulk and and everything like that but with these apocalypses man they're they're all very different and can fit you know, depending on how you're going to display, what you're looking to display, they all serve a really different purpose. So yes, it's a third apocalypse figure, but you know, there's a lot of new there and a lot of difference that it feels very different from the others, which is pretty cool. In my opinion, I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, but let's jump into the articulation and then we'll take a look at apocalypse with the X-Men, the animated series figures. Okay, so Apocalypse, he can look down somewhat there, but he's really looking into his collar. He can look up a little bit. The collar does get in the way somewhat, but it actually works out really well. Um, you can do some swivel in there and not really a whole lot of pivot going on. The shoulders you can get to go straight out like so. Keep in mind of how those hoses are going to work. So you could, you know, do a full rotation, but that the hose, you know, that's not really going to work with the hose. That shoulder pad really stays in place and does not get in the way when it comes to moving that shoulder around, which is good. There is the upper bicep swivel in there. Um, and then this guy has a single jointed elbow only. So you're only actually going to get that much bend at the elbow with these larger figures. You know, they don't move a whole around a whole lot, unfortunately wrist swivel and they do hinge all hands have the standard horizontal hinge and then we do have fists that came with him as well so two open hands two fists and that arm cannon um, and then he has an ab crunch so he can crunch forward that much he can crunch back that much so not terrible let me plug this hose back in the forearm there so we can well, we'll keep getting in the way and then he has a waist swivel, but that belt gets in the way. You may have to kind of adjust the belt around to move it. He can do the splits like crazy, so legs go out that far apart, which is good. He can not kick forward that much, fair amount. Doesn't really go back, maybe tiny, tiny bit. You have an upper thigh cut in there, double jointed knee. There are pins, because again, this is reused legs from that first build a figure. So that much bend um, at the knee. There is no boot swivel or anything like that. Foot hinges down that much hinge up and eh, not really ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet and then you actually do get a swivel at that ankle ball there something that on the build a figure i didn't really notice because it had that cover piece um that would have really you know hidden that ankle ball in there as you can see that piece was just a floating piece on the build a figure so we do not have that on this guy but i don't think it was really necessary um, or anything there, but I think he moves around a fair bit for a big uh, for a big figure. The big figures tend to not move around nearly as much. Okay, and here we have all the X-Men, the animated series figures. I will include Apocalypse in there, even if he's not cell shaded even if he's not in the VHS style packaging. The color scheme just screams animated series, doesn't it? Uh, but here we have all of the ones that have been announced and officially released. What are the plans for Hasbro? We do not know. They seem to kind of hint towards a bunch of figures um, getting released and being planned. Who knows how deep it'll go, but there's certain characters that I think we absolutely need, right? We need a Cyclops, number one. We have to get a Cyclops, and because we have these nifty new legs with Morph, and they're not all that new, they're basically the Vulcan legs with these straps that are actually sculpted. Um, I don't know if they're sculpted. They feel like a separate piece that's like onto the leg. So I compared to some of the muscle definition to the Vulcan legs, they are the same, and I'll talk about that more when I, when I review Morph. 
um, which will probably be going up the day after this video will be going up. But I think these figures all look really awesome together, and I am excited to have them. I think Apocalypse is nice that we get additional villain, because we have a lot of heroes in this line, so it kind of helps balance it out a little bit. But I think he just looks really, really nice. But you guys let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this Apocalypse figure? Is it one that you're going to be picking up, or are you passing on him? Let me know in the comments below. I think he looks fantastic. The color scheme looks nice to me. It, again, screams animated series. The hand cannon with the blast effects are pretty awesome. The new head sculpt is really good. Everything about it, I really like. The retro card is the big seller there. You know, hang it up on the wall or open it. I will be getting a second one eventually so I can hang on the wall. But this one that I got from Amazon, I'm excited to open it up and show you guys. But again, let me know in the comments below your guys' thoughts on it. If you guys are interested in becoming a channel member, hit the join button and come be a part of the MCU Collective. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.